Imagine cruising in a self-driving car or zooming through a hyperloop. Sounds like sci-fi, right? But what if it's just a typical day in 2050? Welcome to the future of transportation. A future where vehicles are autonomous, where hyperloops are the new railways, and where flying cars are no longer a distant dream. Let's take a ride and explore what 2050 might look like. First stop, autonomous vehicles. Picture this. It's a beautiful morning in 2050. You hop into your car, punch in your destination, and sit back as your vehicle takes care of the rest. No more traffic stress, no more driver fatigue. These self-driving cars are not just about convenience, they're about efficiency and safety too. With advanced AI algorithms and sensors, they're designed to reduce traffic congestion and prevent accidents. Pretty neat, huh? Next, we move on to hyperloops. Imagine traveling at speeds exceeding 700 miles per hour in a tube, protected from the elements. No traffic, no red lights, just you and the speed. That's the Hyperloop for you, an ultra-high-speed ground transportation system that's not just fast but also energy efficient, so you can get from New York to Washington in less than half an hour without feeling guilty about your carbon footprint. A win-win. Finally, let's soar to the skies with flying cars. Yes, you heard that right, flying cars. As futuristic as it sounds, they could become a reality by 2050. These vehicles could potentially ease traffic congestion, reduce travel times, and provide a whole new perspective on commuting. Imagine soaring over skyscrapers and landing right on your office rooftop. Now that's a commute to look forward to. The revolution in transportation is not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about reshaping our cities, our lives, and our planet. It's about creating a world that's more connected, more efficient, and more sustainable. So buckle up, because the future of transportation is nothing short of a revolution. Ever pictured living in a city that produces more energy than it consumes? Welcome to 2050. In this future world, we're no longer slaves to fossil fuels. Picture this, a world where renewable energy dominates, where wind farms and solar panels are as commonplace as trees in a forest. These aren't just fantasies, they're realities in 2050. Solar power, once a fledgling industry, now shines brightly as a leading source of energy. Wind turbines, once a rare sight, now dot landscapes around the globe. And it's not just about harnessing the wind and the sun. We're talking about an energy revolution that also includes geothermal, hydroelectric, and even tidal power. Renewable energy sources, once seen as alternatives, have become the norm, powering homes, businesses, and even entire cities. Speaking of cities, let's talk about eco-friendly urban living. In 2050, cities are not just concrete jungles, they're green havens. Buildings are not merely structures, they're vertical forests covered in greenery and equipped with solar panels. Rainwater is harvested, waste is composted, and every resource is used to its fullest. Bike lanes and pedestrian paths are as important as roads, and public transport is powered by clean energy. Now let's get to the basics, food. The food systems of 2050 are sustainable and efficient. Picture vertical farming skyscrapers where vegetables grow without soil and fish swim in tanks below. Picture lab-grown meat, plant-based alternatives, and precision agriculture powered by AI. We're not just eating to live, we're eating to thrive and to protect our planet. So what's the bottom line? The future isn't about doing less harm, it's about doing more good. It's about creating a world where we don't just survive, but thrive. A world where we live in harmony with nature, where sustainability is not an option, but a necessity. Indeed, 2050 brings us a future where we don't just survive, but thrive sustainably. Imagine a day where your AI assistant manages your schedule, your VR headset takes you to exotic destinations, and your smart home predicts your needs. Welcome to 2050. In the realm of artificial intelligence, we're no longer talking about simple voice commands. We're talking about AI that knows you, understands you, and anticipates your needs. It's not just about asking your AI assistant to play your favorite song or tell you the weather. It's about your AI assistant reminding you that you have a meeting in half an hour, suggesting you take an umbrella because it might rain, or even ordering your favorite takeout when it realizes you've had a long day. AI in 2050 is your personal assistant, your confidant, your companion. Then there's the world of virtual and augmented reality. No longer bound by physical limitations, you can be anywhere, do anything, with anyone. Want to watch a football match from the best seat in the stadium? Put on your VR headset. Want to see how that new couch would look in your living room? Use your AR glasses. These technologies will revolutionize not just entertainment, but also education, training, and social interaction. 
The world is literally at your fingertips. And let's not forget about the Internet of Things. Your home in 2050 is a symphony of interconnected devices, all working in harmony to make your life easier. Your fridge knows when you're running low on milk and adds it to your digital shopping list. Your thermostat adjusts the temperature based on your preferences and the time of day. Your alarm clock gently wakes you up and your coffee maker starts brewing your morning cup of joe. It's a world where technology is not just a tool, but a seamless part of your everyday life. In 2050, technology doesn't just assist us, it dazzles us. What if your future doctor could predict your health risks and provide personalized treatment plans? Welcome to healthcare in 2050. In the future, we could see a rise in personalized medicine. This means that instead of the one-size-fits-all approach we are used to, treatments and medication will be tailored to each individual's unique genetic makeup. Imagine a world where your doctor knows exactly how your body will react to a certain drug, or can predict your risk for specific diseases based on your DNA. This could significantly increase the effectiveness of treatments and help prevent health issues before they even occur. But personalized medicine is just one piece of the puzzle. Another major advancement we can anticipate is the expansion of telemedicine. With the help of technology, we could be saying goodbye to those long waits in the doctor's office. Instead, we could have virtual consultations right from the comfort of our homes. Telemedicine could make healthcare more accessible to everyone, regardless of location. Whether you're in a bustling city or a remote village, as long as you have an internet connection, you could have access to medical advice. Lastly, we can expect to see the development of health monitoring technologies. This could include wearable devices that can continuously monitor your vital signs, track your sleep patterns, or even detect irregularities in your heart rhythm. These devices could provide real-time data that can help doctors diagnose and treat conditions more accurately and quickly. These advancements in healthcare could revolutionize the way we approach our health. Instead of reacting to illnesses, we could be more proactive in maintaining our health and preventing diseases. In 2050, healthcare isn't just about treating illnesses, it's about preventing them. Imagine a world where we not only halt environmental degradation but also restore our ecosystems. This could be our reality in 2050. Our ecosystems, the intricate web of life that sustains us, are under threat, but there's hope. By 2050, we could see widespread efforts to protect and restore them. Picture vast reforestation projects, revived coral reefs, and the return of species once on the brink of extinction. It's a world where we live in harmony with nature, not at its expense. Now, let's talk about the circular economy. It's a system that eliminates waste and continually uses resources. It's like Mother Nature herself, a perfect cycle of growth, decay, and renewal. In 2050, our economies could mirror this natural cycle with zero waste manufacturing, product as a service models, and a strong focus on recycling and composting. In this future, every product has a past and a future, and nothing is truly thrown away. Finally, on to climate crisis mitigation. By 2050, we've stopped talking about climate change and started acting. We see a world powered by renewable energy, with carbon capture technologies reversing the damage of the past. Cities are greener, transportation is cleaner, and industries have dramatically reduced their carbon footprints. In this vision of 2050, every individual plays a part. Every choice we make, every action we take, contributes to a healthier planet. In 2050, caring for the planet isn't just an option, it's a necessity. So are you ready for 2050? A revolution in transportation awaits us with autonomous vehicles, hyperloops, and even flying cars. We'll focus on sustainable living, powered by renewable energy and eco-friendly cities, while indulging in technological marvels, AI, VR, Arkansas, and Internet of Things. Our healthcare will be personalized, remote, and constantly monitored. And let's not forget our relentless climate action to protect and restore our ecosystems. As we step into the future, let's embrace the possibilities and challenges that come our way. Welcome to 2050.